Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Exposed. George Soros' secret plan to have Sean Hannity fired backfires. Fox News host Sean Hannity had a tough day after it was discovered that he had asked President Donald Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, for legal advice. The attacks against him have George Soros' fingerprints all over it. The discovery was made during Cohen's hearing, which was attended by porn star Stormy Daniels and her attorney Michael Avenatti. Hannity was attacked by liberals for not disclosing that he had a relationship with Cohen as he has been defending him on his primetime program. The revelation of their relationship came to light after New York Judge Kimball Wood pressured Cohen at Monday's hearing. But, now, secrets about Judge Wood and her relationship with Soros and former President Bill Clinton have cast a shadow on her performance in the Cohen case. Judge Wood presided over the 2013 wedding of Soros and his 42-year-old bride Tamiko Bolton, The Washington Times reported. In lieu of gifts at the wedding, guests were encouraged to donate to the liberal charities that Soros supports, like Planned Parenthood. The wedding was attended by noted liberals like U2 frontman Bono and House Minority Leader California Rep. Nancy Pelosi, The Times reported. Soros is a globalist, who is anti-borders and has supported numerous Democrats, including President Trump's opponent in the 2016 presidential election, Hillary Clinton. Judge Wood's Democrat connections do not end there. Judge Wood was also former President Bill Clinton's failed nominee for U.S. Attorney General in 1993, The Times reported. Judge Wood like President Clinton's first nominee Zoe Baird, had hired an illegal alien and failed to pay taxes on the employee. The White House and the media, which protected the Clintons and continues to protect them, said that she hid the fact that she hired an illegal alien as a nanny, but Judge Wood said that she did tell them about it. None of this mattered to some Fox News contributors who took the opportunity to scold Hannity for not revealing the relationship he had with Cohen. On Monday, Alan Dershowitz chastised Hannity on his own show, saying, I really think you should have disclosed your relationship with Cohen. But, Hannity argued that he had the right to privacy and said that he sought advice from Cohen on real estate and not politics. Dershowitz argued that Hannity still had an obligation to disclose that information because he talks to millions of people on his program. On The Five, a popular Fox News program that airs hours before Hannity's prime time show, Juan Williams, the resident liberal, also criticized Hannity. Why, when Sean was on the air strongly an advocate for President Trump, not saying, hey, I've got a relationship with a lawyer, I think that's a question, he said. Hannity, not one to back off from a challenge, defended himself on his show on Monday. He again said that his relationship with Cohen was informal and that he had asked Cohen for real estate advice, reiterating that he never represented him in a legal matter. I tell you why they're going nuts, he said of the liberal media. They're assuming, because I guess he did some type of work for some Republican guy, they're figuring, oh, he must have done a big settlement case for Hannity. That's not, no, that's not what happened. Ever, he continued. Not one of any issue I ever dealt with Michael Cohen on ever, ever, involved a matter between me and any third party, he said. And, on Tuesday, Fox News issued a statement of support for its embattled host. While Fox News was unaware of Sean Hannity's informal relationship with Michael Cohen and was surprised by the announcement in court yesterday. We have reviewed the matter and spoken to Sean and he continues to have our full support," the statement read. Sean Hannity's interactions with Michael Cohen were minor, and the campaign against him, which mirrors the campaign against Laura Ingram two weeks ago, is a reflection not of the seriousness of the issue but of the fact that the liberal media, who Hannity crushes in the ratings, will stop at nothing to have every conservative supporter of the president taken off the airwaves. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.